Hello and welcome to Garblag Games, where tonight we're playing D&D uh, &D 5th Edition, Ahead of the Storm. And with me tonight are two of my three lovely Friday night players, uh, Nye and Ben, but I'll let them introduce themselves and their characters. Unfortunately, Odun can't be with us tonight, but he will be in future. Uh, ben. Hello. Why don't you yes, go first? It's me. Uh, yes, hello, I'm Ben uh, from Garblag Games. You may recognize me from such things as Garblag Games. And I'm here to play some D&D, 5th edition. And Lewis is a madman because he's letting me have a 7th level character. So I'm unstoppable. Running, I laughing, to, cackling. I, I want to record that I was the one who through a, a, a tantrum over getting level seven. Everyone was just like, let's have level six. And I was like, no, level seven. No, it has to be level seven. It's yes. the only level I like. Yes, yes. I don't even like higher levels than seven, no, just it, seven. it is a magic number in fairness. It is, yes. What am I playing? I am playing a tiefling with one level of rogue and six levels of sorcerer. And she is called Muriel Tiferet. Also, Ben's overlay name will be updated by next week. I just forgot about it. And also, only got Ben. Ah, yes, name Ben, Ben name. Now. That's me. <laughs> uh, Nye, tell us about your character. Yes. Hello. I am Thorn. J just Thorn. I am a dragonborn, the bronze variety, and I am a barbarian. The Berserker, because I used d, d Beyond and the Berserker was the only option. But I am very strong and I have a big axe that is a plus one. It sounds pretty sophisticated. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be able to handle the uh, the nuance of uh, such a complex character. <laughs> Possibly. There's probably... No, I mean, actually, that's not true. I played, let's I be honest, all our characters before. the characters will probably become more complex in play. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I, I might be able to decide which way I want to chop someone into with my yeah. giant great axe of Up awesomeness. Upways, sideways, there's lots of ways exactly. to do Exactly, lots of chopping ways. Yeah. I'm, just, um, I'm not opening my character sheet, I swear. <laughs> There you go. And lastly, we have Odun, who's not with us this evening. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think we'll just get straight into it. So we descend from the sky. By the way, this is a very serious game for serious people. So I'm going to take the hat off. <laughs> and we descend from the sky into one of the large bowls that sits in the ether. Uh, and in this one, particularly, the world of the salt is to be found. And come careening down towards a mountain upon which a bare-chested man is blaring a bagpipe over a fog-covered mountainside, wearing a kilt, because why not? When straight into sudden, seriousness. Yeah, straight into the Arthur? seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> When all of a sudden, um, your ship, the Worthy Cause, comes crashing past, flying straight past him, barely scraping the top of uh, top of his his head. Well, barely not scraping the top of his head, and uh, flying past as you zoom into the distance, followed by three smaller ships that seem to have mechanical wings and claws attached to the bottom uh, and already the worthy cause is slightly on fire ah like slightly each... on fire isn't entirely on yeah. fire though so we're yeah. winning really aside from um Zaniki, thorn and muriel there's one other person aboard your trusty npc uh ship hand who I have created for you called Ravi The only Fine one that Fellow. can fly the ship. <laughs> <laughs> who can basically just look after the ship while you're doing piratey things. <laughs> um, and Ravi's at the helm trying to keep the ship straight as you smoke's billowing out of the back of your engines. Uh, what are the 
rest of the three of you doing? Well, two of you. How? Zaniki appears to be running to the back of the ship and trying to put out a fire coming from one of the engines. Hmm. I beg your Being on fire is bad, right? Unless you're a phoenix, which we are not, unfortunately. Right. Uh, <laughs> let's blow up some ships. Yes, let's <laughs> do that. I have I have weapons to throw, and I can throw furniture as well. That's that's fair. <laughs> and how are you going about trying to blow up these ships? Well, here's hoping they're in range. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a lightning bolt. Yeah. Just leaning over to the side. <laughs> At this point, we're not in uh, proper combat, we'll say. Oh, okay. Because, you know, I have to set up some things first. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> totally fine. All right, okay. Theater of the Mind, cinematic genius. Love it. Yeah. Well, we, we have an actual theater, so but, we're playing Theater of the Mind on yeah. the theater bed. There you go. <laughs> like, the so, uh... Yeah, fire away with your lightning bolt and see what happens. Oh, do I need to target people and stuff and things? Not really at the moment because, uh, you know. Come on, it's like the most. Oh, I'm with you, right. There's stuff that... going on in the background that you don't there's know There's stuff about going yet. on in the background that you're, we don't know about. You've suddenly so... been attacked. Wait, are we not meant to have Forge open? I have Forge open. <laughs> you have what? I've forgotten how to do things. How do I cast the spell? Uh, you you should to... be able to. Open if lightning bolt, want... click standard roll. Uh, yeah, one thing I am going to do though is I'm just going to grab your character, Ben, and press the lead. Because. Uh, is that not working? Oh, that's fine. Oh, I should probably enact raging as well. And change you so your name's actually up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh it's got me a little template. Ah, oh, crikey, that's mm. frightening. Yeah. So. Um, so if it's originated... If you can see... Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, what this uh, that's a hundred foot three... snail! That's yeah. not the direction I want to shoot it in. <laughs> try it. Do you want me to move it? I'll try. Yeah, that might be a plan. <laughs> I had planned on not blowing up our own ship or, or killing any well, of our I, comrades. I just love the idea of, like, you shooting in the in the forward direction. The other one's going, like, oh, shit! <laughs> We'll destroy our ship, not you! I'll destroy the worthy cause before I let you have it. Yeah. Exactly. And then those pirates would be sitting there thinking, oh wow, yeah, we, I we don't think we want to rob these wrong folks. People. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 like when you get in a fight with someone and they're slapping the side of their head, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to fight you. You're oh, I see, that's the bad. measured template thing. Is it? Yeah. If right. you're wanting to, I'm with do you, you see the little ruler, uh, Ben? Yeah. Uh, click on that. Yeah. And now you should be able to just watch. I'll do it. Can you see my little ruler popping out? Yeah. I just did and it. Right can... there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now you should be able to measure. Oh boy, they are far away. They're like, cool. And then if you want to go back, click to the um, to the four, the little box at the top left. Yeah. Oh uh, right. Yeah. So what? Right. So what's happening at the moment is two of these mechanical raptors appear to be approaching you from the side and just tearing chunks out of the worthy cores. And one of them is coming right up at the back and is sort of lowered to a hover as its claws reach down towards uh, Zankini. <gasps> who we will find out next week if it's pronounced Zankini <laughs> or something else. <laughs> Oh no, they're going to kidnap our, our buddy! Who could have seen totally that coming? Totally not, for story reasons. Oh, well that's good then. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, so are we, do we want to roll initiative? Because I think the pair of us want to throw down, but we don't have Yeah, to, you can, to, you right? can just take turns throwing. Oh, okay. If you want. Alright, but I'm going to shoot this guy. You're Which firing one? your laser! I'm a very up-to-date meme. 
Ciao. Want me to and then they the, have to make a uh, saving. saving. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, saving throw. DC 15. So you got to click that. Bit rubbish. 15 DC is pretty good. To avoid, at least. Um, anything over 10 is pretty solid as, a, as an avoid. An, an avo right, if you say so. Yeah, I, I, you know it's true because I just said a lot of gibberish. Yeah. So no, no, a giant D20. It <laughs> rips into the side of the... Uh, I didn't even see how much damage it did. The one raptor. Where? It was this one you were trying to hit, right? Uh, or which one? Uh, yeah. The, the, so it fair. failed its DC yeah. uh, to dodge. Right? Because it got a yep. knife. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that yeah, failed. Yeah, it definitely so now, failed. Ben, you should be able to roll damage. Roll damage. Yeah. Eight. Nope, D6. it's not letting me roll it. Just it's roll good. 8d6. Tell yeah, me just, what yeah, happens. Yeah, I thought it was Val. Yeah. And, it, and it, it takes the full amount of it. Kablowie! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, no! 20. Boof. Part of <laughs> one of the rings, uh, wings of one of these, well, of the mechanical raptor that you targeted rips loose and you see one of these big blades that's almost like a giant feather fly off down into the distant fog covered landscape below uh, and the raptor starts wheeling away and sort of slowly lurching to the side uh, I, I'm gonna give chase are you <laughs> leap off the side of the ship with my tempestuous <laughs> magic. I'm not no, sure you want it. to do that, but yeah, sure. Go I, I and then just try like and the idea. glide yeah. off yeah. And gracefully and elegantly. <laughs> we're, we're in like, you know, in, like, in the movies where they're driving and shooting at the cars. What Ben's car just did was shot at the car and then just climbing out to jump onto their car. <laughs> Go for it then. Uh, yeah. Oh. Right, yep, yeah, leaping. Wah! I should point out that this isn't quite as mad as it might seem because I I do have spells I that can help. We'll say light. to catch onto it as it wheels away. You're gonna have to give me its acrobatics or athletics test of some kind. Uh, acrobatics, it is. Go for it. Uh, da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll move you over to here <laughs> as it pulls back you're gripping onto the front of this raptor beak you didn't um, even have to use a feather fall nice yeah. and <laughs> as, like you just managed to make it as a gust of wind pushes you that extra bit further <laughs> And you're gripped on there. Um, Why would I take the fly spell? That would have been sensible. <laughs> it's not like any of you asked for boots of flying. <laughs> that was, um, yeah, I know who has the boots of flying. <laughs> the middle raptor lurches down and grabs hold of the zucchini and uh, starts <gasps> wheeling around and pulling backwards with. Uh, with him in tow. Oh, I have to decide. Thorn. Yeah. What you Yeah, do? I have to decide. Can I save? The other so one is be... still ripping yeah, along the side of us. the ship. I feel like so. What the for Thorn's first action is, he's going to rage, but because I because because it's a nigh character, it's not like Rah! it's just like like <laughs> yeah. <Again. laughs> it's actually it's just like. <laughs> <sighs> not rage as much as frustration. Yeah, it's that kind of. I'm not know, angry. Like, I'm disappointed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and he's going to. I, I think also as we're all pirate buddies, I feel like Thorn is in that headspace of like, no, yes, he's made a mistake because Zankini is deadly up close. 
<laughs> and Zeke is, he's like, no, no, I'm not. Please save me, save me. Yes, <laughs> you fall into Zankiri's trap for you are now in his strike range. And he's like, no. <laughs> he's just so sort he's of gripped throw... in the claws. Like, ah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he's going to throw a one at the one that's tearing into us on the right, I want to say. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I need to activate. Uh, but yeah, you can maybe target them and then. So yeah, Probably I'm using my ability because rage gives me some stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just going to throw one of my hand axes right at it. Um, it. I'd throw the gray axe, but I don't think it come back. So we're just going to stick with <laughs> one of the hand axes. Wait, actually, what does more damage, a hand axe or a javelin? Um, How many weapons do you have? I have quite a lot. He's got two hand axes and four javelins, a dagger in his boot, and a great axe. But he's gonna throw the hand axe because I feel like that, that does more. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna attack. Go for it. Does a fifteen hit? Uh, it does not. It bounces oh. off of <laughs> the hardened metal steel shell of. Uh, of this flying raptor device Damn it. and out of spite um, it wheels round again and starts firing a bunch of solid steel rods that they use as projectiles into your hull before flying straight past you at high speed and buzzing off into the, into the distance. Mm. Well, now I am raging. <laughs> the rage was justified. Oh, God damn it! Ah. In the meantime, I'm going to make these dudes disappear as Sankidi and his terrible kidnapper manage <laughs> to uh, escape off, dropping down into the fog below. Well, that's and... inconvenient. Shit. Flying off the into giddy. the distance. If you want, now you can roll an initiative. If you want to make it a combat. We gotta get our buddy back! Oh yeah, roll initiative. Let me just... There you go, you should be able to see it in the combat. I had an 18. Now, these are pretty tough dudes, so... Combat starts with Thorn as the raptor comes around once more and uh, sort of the hatch opens up a bit and you oh, see this large, e kind of equally large to Thorn, well-armed orc jump out with, pretty sure he has a rather large maul on him and he's just getting ready to leap down onto your ship and smack you okay. in the head. I'd like, I'd like to leap at him. <laughs> is he within <laughs> leaping range? Huh? He is, if you want to. Everything's well, possible. Let me remind myself how this far my crazy game so -so. <laughs> I started off <laughs> with a giant. We swap places. I jump on his ship and he jumps on ours like, oh. You you Just... smash into the raptor, breaking it open, and he smashes into the deck of your ship. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I can make an athletics check to just, like, leap across yep. onto his if you want. I'll let Let's you do that. Let's do this. That's a 15. I'm getting a lot of lures today. Uh, we'll go for it, just because it seems fun. You don't quite get the perk just you'd like uh, so you can roll your attack with disadvantage but you manage to sort of hop on to the front end as he's rushing forwards and you're kind of um, un semi balanced on one leg I'm gonna strike him with the, the oh. great axe Let me I think I get a, advantage on attacks while raging so yes, I don't know I'll, I'll just roll with disadvantage and see yeah. if it balances out don't forget to target him. Oh, sorry. I got a 13. Roll it again. <laughs> but target My him apologies. this time. 
How do I target him? Do I just click on him? Right click, uh, press the You need to click on the target, target button. Or you can targets. click on, on him and press control T. I, I will roll again. <laughs> Apologies, audience. I've decided to be shit Batman. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure the audience is. How do I. Right there with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how to how to target him. Uh, uh, I'm right clicking right him. Click, and then there's a bunch of circles. If you see, you should be able to see a bunch of circles. Or you can click on him and press Control T. Left click on him and press Control T. Or is it shifty? Oh, it might be shifty. I've just opened a new right tab. Double right click also targets. That's true. There's ah yep, yes, I have him. targeted him with the double right click. I shall try again to attack with disadvantage. Still with disadvantage. I got a lower number of thirteen. Yeah, actually, just I don't crit have, failed. Have the footing, so, but um, he draws up next to you as he was just preparing to run and jump forward himself. You don't get our but... ship. <laughs> I don't want this voice is. <laughs> Are you going to be able to manage that for no. uh, several sessions? Only when he's raging. Basically. Oh, oh like yes. This is nice raging. This is Thorne's raging voice. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is... Uh... <laughs> uh, unless you had any more actions, sorry, no. I uh, know, I don't think I did. Uh, do, 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 I am going to... No multi-attack or anything? Uh, I, I, going I, I don't to... think I've got a multi-attack. This is where so... Oh, excuse me, sorry, I was just coughing. Um, this is where somebody says, actually, you do have multi-attacks. So I'll double check, but... You'll find out. <laughs> oh, I do. I have two. I have yeah. two instead of one. You know what? We'll just say we'll, well just because I rolled yeah. one before. I don't think either of them would have hit. Would have fifteen have hit him? No. <laughs> so convenient. What's oh, wait, Muriel no, up 13 to, and Ben? A nine. Yeah, I exactly. am going to do a thing. What's the thing I'm gonna do? Something. How do awesome. I even? How do I even attack, though, bro? Uh, if you open up your character sheet, you should be able to click on your weapon. What in the inventory? Yeah. Oh, okay. That should work. Um, or usually you should have. If you look in the upper left hand, you should be able to select attacks as well from your inventory. And spells and everything, features, etc. Mm, nope. Just on the top left. Oh on right, the top yes, left with of you. Your screen. Yep, yeah. Okay. Um, these these flighty bird things. Are they open topped? Yeah. Can I see? Yeah, it's sort of like it, it. It's got a bit of glass, but like the side bits of the canopy are open, so you know. The glass I is think, also wafer thin. You I could think I smash wanna straight through it. Get in with this guy and then tase him. Sounds like a plan. I mean, shocking grasp is a little bit lame. I've got better spells than that. Can I? Eh, not appropriate for the level. Shocking grasp is really low. This guy's going to be able to take a shocking glass. I'll just swing in through the window and threaten him with my gun <laughs> and say, you're coming with me. Go on, roll an intimidation check then. Nice. Muriel with the fantastic rolls tonight. <laughs> so that, that technically means he's willing, right? Well... I'll, I'll give him a saving throw and see. Against an 18, there's not much chance he's going to... Uh, uh, what am I saving on? Let's 
yeah, no. Kind of... His hand was going down for a rifle next to him, and he just kind of stops. In which case... He hasn't got I... out or anything yet, but he's holding it steady and just not moving at the moment. Grabbing hold of him then, and teleporting back to the ship. I mean, I don't know why I did that as an attack roll. Because it's teleport to any unoccupied space you can see within range. Yeah. Where do you want to end up? Uh, on the deck of the ship. And that bird thing is taking... Yeah, at the moment he disappears, it also... It was already damaged and he was the one holding it steady, so... Like... It, uh... Another part of its wing rips off as well as this thunderous blast crashes over it as you disappear along with uh, claw and yeah it you better believe it crashing down into the uh, the world below so yeah that's my, my action and my bonus action taken care of yeah Claw's kind of surprised at the moment. <laughs> so. He's lucky I got the spell off backwards. I thought it was where I landed that did the explodo, but it's actually where I leave that does the explodo. That's kind of useful. <laughs> it is. It's great it's escape. The wrecking half, the remaining, the, the good half of the ship. Yeah. Also, yeah, the twenty-six damage to him and that um, the guy who keeps our ship running going. Exactly. That would have been bad. Yeah. He doesn't manage to recover quickly enough from these unexpected events going on around him and just sort of freezes whilst you've still got your pistol pointed straight at, at him. An expert. <laughs> yeah. These spells are cool. Mo, on the other hand, does not like Thorn. And, uh. Mm shouts at you get off my ship and swings the mace around straight at your head <laughs> and he does have uh, he does have multi-attack I, I also have multi-attack yeah. I just forgot to just use forgot. it well, you got I take it an 11 pitch. doesn't hit no it doesn't Mm. This one might though. No, ah, it might not. It <laughs> swings and uh, can I catch Thorn just kind of yeah Ugh. catches it and Stop tries yourself. to pull Stop it, yourself. pull it free and kind of stumbles backwards and mm. he's on the floor now holding his ball whilst you've got hold of it. So um, we'll say he's currently prone. Yes. Thorn, it's your go. You've got hold of his maul. He's not moving. You'll have to let go of it to hit him with your great axe, though. Yes. Can I, am I aware of Muriel behind me? You kind of felt a, like, something out of yes. the ether. If Just... I, can I turn around for a second to see her holding someone hostage? Yeah. I've, I'll give you that as a free action. Yes, while I am raging, I wish to... Uh, to um, actually, though I'm raging, I should probably strike. <laughs> so I shall let go of the mace and strike. Hmm. Yes. Don't forget to target him. I will not forget to target him this time. Uh, oh, I'm still targeting him. So I, I'm going rushing, so which is not forget. the intention. <laughs> So, uh, uh, mm, yes, mm, I am mm. angry. Sound it. This Very angry. Nigh attempting to sound angry. I'm going to roll. That would See? be a angry 20 roll. That <laughs> definitely hits. Let me damage him. That is 12 damage. I should add the rage Did damage. You... Did you roll that? 
from the damage prompt that it gave you? Or Yeah. Oh, that's strange. It should have automatically taken that off of you, but there you go, I'll do it. So what My was apologies. It? 27? Uh, 12. Uh, 12. 27 to hit, 12 yeah. damage, but I'm going to add the rage damage as well. Yeah, oh. let me know what it is in total then. No, it's two, two additional rage damage. What, that 14? 14 and 12. I wish to attack again. Yeah. Sure, go for it. Yes. You crash the axe into the side of his That's armor. That's an 11. And, in. <laughs> and as you come <laughs> round for the backswing... Ah, uh, actually, you have advantage on that because he's prone, which I forgot. Oh, let me attack again. <laughs> That's a 23. That it. Brr. Attack. Uh, then six damage. I'm gonna add the rage. I like how you can roll a one and still do at least six damage. <laughs> oh, maybe I only do rage damage once. Yes. Well, I yes. Mm. Uh, uh, as far as I know, it's as long as you don't fail to hit, which you technically didn't because you had advantage. So yeah. So, uh, I'm unclear how to. I used the prompt, and it's gone now. So I shall rage again. I'll just click uh, rage again. Let me have a look. How many? Oh, there's rage roll. damage. I have the rage damage. Two. There's a total of eight damage. Now I could math. This is gonna be a really, really old character trait. Quickly. Yeah. I... He rolled a zero! Oh no, I was just having a look. Just no, no, Lewis rolled a zero. It's not any of the bad guys. No. Mm, it just seemed... <laughs> two seemed low. Uh, so, what's that in total? Eight damage? Eight. On top of the fourteen he's taken. There you go. You smack into him again on the other side, and you see this splint armor that he's wearing. I think uh, half Do armor you that he's yield? wearing, kind of dent in. Yes, and I ask him, does he yield? Starts trying to pull, uh, pull himself up, and he goes, "Oh, we're not there yet." Excellent. <laughs> I am done with my turn. <laughs> 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 so, Muriel, how, uh, how are you? <laughs> uh, well, I've, I've just teleported this guy through the air, blown up his ship, landed on our deck, yeah. still got a gun pointed at him. I'm just like, uh, Cla you, Claw you is looking very com confused. It, his uh, rifle a, isn't even next to him anymore. He's just... As a bonus action, I'm preparing Branding Smite, and I'm going to hold my action for if he decides to do anything silly. And if he does do anything silly, I'm going to shoot him. He is going to try and do some silliness. Oh, that but... was ridiculous. Bad life choice, mate. So are you doing anything else before I go to his? Uh, no, I'm, I'm giving him a chance. And if he does something silly, that's on him. I'm a bit silly. Oh, well, what am I meant to do now, man? Um, a pistol flips up into one of his hands sort of a small pistol it flies out on a little mechanism from out of his robed sleeves uh and he's gonna try and take a shot at you no nope. and not hit at all right but he shot me so i'm shooting back <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. That'll definitely hit. Uh, damage. How much damage? But wait. There's more. There's more. 
Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. Don't know yes, because my gun right now is functioning as a laser pistol. Cool. That's a know. branding spite. Why, for some reason, it's not taking it off automatically at the moment, but there you go. Um, yeah. You shoot him and it burns a big hole in the side of his shoulder and he starts backing away uh, for his movement when you realize what he was doing was already backing away as he pulled the gun out and tried to shoot at you um, and you'll get an attack of opportunity because uh, he's disengaged from you and he's gonna fall backwards over the side of the ship but you can shoot him first brave you daring um I almost tempted to let him do it and then thunderstep him again because that too would be funny. It would be, but <laughs> uh, I'm not super strong though. So um, instead, I think I will just thunder wave him. So Constitution saving throw. Oh no, that's a really bad idea because that pushes um, pushes him ten feet away, and that'd do what he wants me to do. So I better not do that. It was a nice idea, uh, poorly thought out. Okay. What does that do? Don't know. Does a thing. You know, should we just shoot him? Let's just shoot him. We got the gun in hand. Go on. Shooting seems like a plan. Oh. It misses and Claw dives over the side. Uh, and you see like a little flutter as his robes spread out and he falls backwards into the depths below that's clever there you go uh, and then the only one left is oh. Our good friend Mal, who um, is going to use his movement to get up, and then he's going to try and smack Thorn in the in the head again. He can try, but he will fail. He's going to succeed now that I've said that. Is he though? I don't. I don't think a fourteen. Um, meets. I think he. I think he meets at a fourteen because barbarians don't wear a lot of armor. Uh, he does. Yeah, but don't you have bonuses? That uh... no, it's just fourteen. Okay, that... that's Are what the sure? game is telling me. In that case, what? Eleven damage is Eleven nothing damage to me. Free. Smack across. Uh, well, you're raged at the moment, so it is halved. Yes. Because it's bludgeoning damage. Yes. So it is only six. Nothing. Uh, and then he'll take another swing at you. Adorable. I catch his maul again in my hands. <laughs> And stumbles forward again, <laughs> right into your hands. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna fucking hit him with my great axe. <laughs> All right. Uh... Oh, yes. I'm gonna see if this works better. Does a twenty-one hit? It it does. Excellent. I'm gonna hit him. 
I do 14 damage. Plus your rage. Uh, I think that, that roll, yes, has added my rage. Because I don't know where that plus one would be coming from. Because it's it's a d12 uh, and axe. then four for my strength. Oh yeah, the great plus axe. Plus one for you. I will add my plus rage one. then as well. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to do this. And yes, I did add the two. RPG I'm realized. Oh, it just adds number. the number. Okay, I. It's two. I add two to every attack I successfully make. I'm gonna attack him again with the great axe. So it's a total of sixteen for the first attack. I'm gonna yeah, attack him again. To hit. Yeah. Okay. Then. <laughs> That's an eleven. I'm really Plus good at rolling elevens. Is not gonna hit him though. Uh, so your rage dies out as well as uh, you've he's got hold of his maul but he's down on one knee and you're smacking him with his great axe and then he just sort of ducks under it a second and your axe goes past and yes, just, I am no longer raging the anger just leaves you as the axe whooshes out into into the empty sky beyond him I end my turn. Ariel. I will stop doing this voice. It Torn is, uh, is still battling whoever it is that is attacking him. What uh, you do notice, were... though, at this point is this raptor thing that they're sitting on is like slowly descending. It appears to be losing height as you're moving up. And Ravi's. <laughs> Holding Nick on to the, the steering raptor. wheel, going, you should probably get him off of there. Nick the Raptor, tase the dude. Nick the Raptor, tase the dude. Uh, I'm going to try and Why Nick the Raptor. <laughs> yeah, no, I wouldn't sure. want to insult uh, my, my good friend Thorn by like, kill stealing off him. That'd be mean. It's so I'm going to try and Nick insult. the Raptor instead. It is friendship. We share the kills. <laughs> I feel like that's what Thorin said at uh, one of our drinking sessions. Yes. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, go for it. How far can you move? Because you might. How be far able can to I move? It. I've got 30 feet of movement. Uh, each thingy should be five. Let me know if it's not. Yeah, it is. Is that okay? Can I make that? Uh, it's 35 feet, but you could, yeah, you could make it onto the raptor. I'm not going to go, ooh, that one, that last one foot. We'll say, we'll put matey over here and uh, you can move up into the cockpit. Muriel sort of swings in as, uh, as Thorn and Mole are battling it out. Muriel Do I know how to in, fly this? Grabs, grabs <laughs> hold of the cockpit, the sort of windowed bit at the start with a, oh, at the top with a copper bar on it, swings into the cockpit bit. And uh, yeah, you've got hold of the controls. You're going to have to try and fly it somehow. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, right, what skills have I got that might help me fly this? Slight of hand, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, random yeah, dexterity could... test. If, random if remember, dexterity test. I mean, I, I mean, I've got acrobatics. I, I don't know how you want to do it, Lewis, but if I remember how vehicles work, it literally yeah. is just a d20, and then you would add to a potential proficiency, but obviously I don't think Muriel... Maybe Muriel does have proficiency flying oh, land. That's vehicle. the thing, nope. we don't know. What Thief is Muriel's tools, disguise background? Disguise kit and Shorm. Tell, tell people Muriel's background, and we'll see if Muriel's might have Background any knowledge wise. of how to fly <laughs> oh god where did i oh, i've written that down somewhere haven't i somewhere really clever and yes come here muriel's background fancy cloak coat it goes yep. with his muriel grew hat. up on board ships actually uh flying around uh navy brat someone got promoted over her so she got kind of pissy about it yeah on her own ships her entire life, raised by a single dad who was an airship captain. There we go. So, yeah, yeah. While, while I don't so, have a specific flying it, you skill. You don't have specific flying raptor skill, you might not know how to. Um, so, yeah. 
you can add your dexterity proficiency bonus to Split it, flying so this. Should I just make a dexterity roll then? Yeah. Come on, dice, you've been good for me so far. Yeah, that's all right. You kind of, you level it out. And for a few moments, kind of rocking left and right. And uh, Thorn goes, Ugh, and Mal goes, Ugh, and then they, it levels out a bit and they clash back together. Yeah, I think basically all I'm going to try and do is just land it on the deck. Yeah. Okay. You've got it level fancy. now. So next. Uh, yeah. Next go round, you can probably land it. Mal's really had enough of you now. For... Wait, was that an action? Because if that was an action, I might still have. Uh, oh right. Yeah. A bonus action to go. Go for it. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, can't do anything with the bonus action that is going to be effective enough. You can do things. And the only that reaction I've got is featherfall. <laughs> Say what? You can do things that are semi-effective. Yep. <laughs> just I will just hurl abuse at him then to distract him. Oh. Well, Muriel seems to be pretty good at that. Give me an intimidation check for that. The irony we'll of not if, actually having it, that skill. Nope. Yeah. No. Your father was a hamster was just, and your mother smells of elderberries. Yeah. It's just too focused on smashing the dragonborn over the head with a really big club. And I'm kind of focused on not crashing into the not ship. Not crashing, yeah. Oh, I've had enough of you. Well, I've not had enough of you. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> there you go. Well, you that, that clearly are off. not enjoying this because you're really not putting up a good showing. Yes. Oh, there you that, go. Okay, the second just time encourage. this hurts. Yeah, Just as you it. say, putting up a good showing, the maul comes round around the other side and slams <laughs> across. I dodged the first it. one. I forget <laughs> he can swing back the other way he just came. Yes. Oh! And you take a whopping 16 points of damage and you're no longer in rage, so you don't have a uh, uh, tough barbarian more than angry hide. Okay, uh, math. Uh, Just type, go to your character sheet, sheet type minus 16 into your uh, hit points and it'll take it off for you. It's okay. Great, isn't it? Yes. And it does the little numbers as well, because I just Lovely. really like that from The Secret of Mana. And that yes. They had a module for that. <laughs> anyway, there we go. And that is all he has brought. Yep, that's all, and it's your go now. Mm. I'm going to hit him with the axe again. Try not to kill him. Oh, if Muriel says that, then as a good teammate, Thorn will attempt to grapple this individual. <laughs> no! The, the grappling Nobody rules. likes grapple rules! <laughs> Oh, yeah. apologies. Thorn <laughs> forgets that nobody likes grappling rules. I will say you can attack him to not kill him if you want. Can I use an unarmed strike? Can I just punch him in the face and then grapple it while punching him? You could if you want, but you could also just hit him with like the side of your axe. I'll hit him with the him side of my axe. Yes, I'm not raging. This is just Thorn's voice. He <laughs> speaks with this inflection. It's not really much of a difference when he's raging, is there? No, <laughs> it's a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll, that should hit. Yeah. Probably. And I'm going to damage him. Is nine damage. Yeah. Does he look very hurt? He looks, uh, as you may be able to tell by the little red bar, he looks rather hurt. Uh, yes, but I was concerned that would be meta gaming. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Right. 
I'm, I'm really not sure the Friday D&D uh, stupid fucking voice. Yeah. The I Friday D&D right the crew do not play by the rules. So. All right, could I just? I, we I'd laugh like, at the face of rules. Yes. We're pirates. I'd Precisely. like to throw him off this thing and onto our ship with my other attack. Could I do that instead of an attack? Um, yes, but you'll have to give me an athletics test. I'm happy to give you that. Uh, That's a 19. Yeah, versus a 15, you hull him (laughs) over you. Just kind of grab him, pick him up over your head backwards, hull him into uh, bounces off of the balloons that are holding your ship up and then smashes straight into the deck in front of uh, Ravi who's at the steering wheel and he gives him a sharp kick to the face (laughs) yeah I I am helping did I do what you asked Muriel roll me a yeah great Uh, go on roll a d20 we'll see (laughs) If you do really well, flat out Sparko. I'll roll a d20. Uh, it's r slash 1d20, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's r right. slash roll. Uh, slash r space 1d20. I got a two. Yeah, he, he's already scrambling up. Oh, looking for fuck. vengeance. <laughs> but he but... is on the deck of your ship. Good. Muriel, you're flying a giant mechanical bird-like flying contraption made out of bronze and steel, as far as you can tell. Yeah. Really badly. <laughs> yeah, you sort of... Where were you aiming for? I was trying to get for the deck of the ship. You land it on the deck of the ship, but you don't soft land it on the deck of the ship. You just don't. Soft the landings legs. aren't necessary. Any landing you can walk away from. The raptor lands, but the legs at the bottom, rather than just sort of setting down on the legs, they crash through the top deck of the ship. And ha! He's not getting away in crunch that. Into, crunch into the bottom. I'll move you to over here. And uh, as you were on top of it. There you go. The both of you are there now. Uh Uh-oh. Don't think I can do anything else. I mean, I'm tempted to shoot him out the window. Feel free. Yeah, let's do that. Once again, same thing. I'll say, you know, you can try and wing him. Rather yeah. than outright. Kapow! Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> ah. He is not looking good, though. And he's sort of trying to get up. Ravi's trying to kick him. <laughs> Keep him down. <laughs> like, ah! But uh, he pulls himself up and takes a massive swing. One to the side to hit Thorn in the face and the other slamming down towards Muriel. So the first one's going to go and hit Thorn. And that should hit, I think. It will hit. It does a big 11 damage. Yes. Uh, Wait, how do I remove it? Just based on... Stop click character, minus 11. And um, then the backswing comes around and crashes into the cockpit area 
smashing through this thin wafer of glass and this little copper. It says tube. I'm dead. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> I think you did. Uh, let's I, put you back I up. I can't to... remember how much health I had. I think you're at about 40 now. There you go. No rules Friday. Welcome to the pirates. <laughs> um, and the second one comes smacking round, crashing into the cockpit. Oh, that'll hit. That hit, hit. Sprayed with this shower of glass, uh, copper tubing, and a big old maul. Ow. And you take 12 damage. Uh, and with that, he's also trying to get away, but he's kind of trapped at the moment, so he's just swinging his maul around wildly, trying to back off. Thorn, it's your go. Nobody hurts my friends. Okay. Um, I would like to non-lethally take him out. What's the sure. great axe? <laughs> Not Nothing so darn lethal, axe. quite like a great axe. I could punch him in the face if you would like. No, no, use Fawn, the great axe, it's yeah. much funnier. Fawn like a baseball for a bat. Put, puts a bit of rubber around the... Yes! yes. <laughs> Good yeah, night, sweet hit. prince. <laughs> I'll say with that, he's just outright knocked out. Just uh, the flat side of... You just spin your axe slightly sideways and the flat end hits him straight in the face and he looks yes. at you for a few seconds you can almost see the stars moving around his head and he just drops to the floor we have won this day oh wait Zanik Z uh. we've drawn this day yes a draw is reason, just winning it in no direction. Not give you the XP either, but uh, you can all have 1,800 XP for defeating Mole. And we'll say the same again for. Uh, well, you can each have 1,800 XP. There you go. We'll do Perfect. That. Do we need to add this XP to our character sheet? Yes. Uh, uh. And how old fashioned. You you yeah. old romantic you. Uh, now that I combat is over, I shall by return the rules, to this except voice. Those rules that I've just said I'll play by. Yeah. Um and yeah. At the moment you're flying a half on fire kind of broken ship with another ship semi crashed into it. Um, and an unconscious orc kidnapper on your deck. Right, first things first. Let's check him for stuff because his mate had a gun. And then we can tie him to the mast. Oh, we haven't got a mast. Uh, we'll tie him to a mast like thing. There's plenty of things to tie him to. Yes. And then we can put the ship out. We need to find where our friend has been taken. That's why we kept this one alive, and we've nicked his airship. That is true. What is our NPC friend's name again? I have forgotten. Ravi Finefellow. Mr. Finefellow, what assistance do you need from the mighty Thor? Uh, well, um, you could maybe put out some of the really large fires that are yes. burning across the deck of our ship. You know what they say, fire beats fire. I shall No, bleep. no, it no, doesn't. No, it does not. No, let me deal with the fire. You deal with the prisoner. Because I will deal with the prisoner. You're not so, fireproof, and at I least am. two of our engines are on fire as well. And there's some big old rents in the side. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, we're flying. Hey, progress. I will tie we're up flying the and we have a new ship. 
do I need to roll something to tie up Mao, Mo, Mu? <laughs> it's very you unconscious at the moment. Uh, you should be able, if you put your mouse over them, you should be able to see their names, I think. I set that up. It looks like Mao, but it, I, I feel like it sounds like Mu with a W. <laughs> Fine. Mu. Yeah. Well, I, I am a warrior, though, so I shall not misidentify people's names, for that is rude and unbecoming of a good warrior. So I shall, when he is conscious and he asks me how to pronounce his name, I shall pronounce it appropriately. Yeah. Um, yes. At the moment, you've tied him up to something heavy with big old heavy chain. Mm -hmm. uh, and Ravi says, as you put out the last of the fire, okay, then what uh, what direction should we be heading in? We must wait for him to gain consciousness, and then we shall ask him, using all means of conversation based in Muriel's skill of conversation, and then we shall find where they have taken our friends. For now, we must plan. You, who are skilled with the ship, where would be the best place to land? Near here? Yes. Um, and as you look out, you're kind of, yeah. You're kind of... Let me swap to the world map for the people following along at home as well. No problem. Yep. You were kind of a couple of days out of uh, Kalahia. Mm -hmm. And crossing the mountains, for the most part because there's very little there, so you're unlikely to run into uh, any privateers or other trouble. Any right, yeah, maybe. Foreign sense. navies. Mm -hmm. um, because what is it exactly that uh, the crew of the the uh, worthy cause do? We are pirates, although we steal many things, things of great value, but they vary from pirate to pirate. I seek great battle, which I steal from people. <laughs> You steal great battle. Yes, well, it's nobody awesome. wants nobody wants to get into great battle unless it is coerced. So that is a form of stealing. Coercion is wrong, kids. Do not do it. That's what makes me a pirate. The others steal material objects, which is up to them. It is their choice what they steal. But that does not interest Thorn. Except this sweet axe that he stole. That does interest Thorn. <laughs> it's pretty rad. It's got a plus one on everything that it does. I don't know what this voice is. <laughs> it's a shit Batman. <laughs> but fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching you try to keep that up for several sessions. I'm not going to be able to. I'll forget next week what I was talking like. Oh, wow. Well. Anyway, um, so yeah, you're kind of near enough that you could turn back uh, if you wanted to. Gris is probably, there's an island out in the sea that's probably reachable with a few days travel, uh, as is Ubna, one of the Southern Alliance. Um, mm -hmm. Well, kingdoms. Uh, Ubna specifically is a aristocratic nation ruled by the monarch Timin Tarnan the Seventh. Okay, uh, so I guess what Thorne is trying to say, though, is he's saying like, he's asking, is it possible to just turn around and chase them? Because I mean, that would be great, but the ship looks like it's pretty. Bad, badly You're dinged up. Not really gonna be chasing them because they managed to catch up to you, so you know they're faster anyway. Yeah. Uh, and at this stage, you're kind of you're limping. You could catch them eventually if you knew where they were going. Mm -hmm. Or okay. where they were. Well, then yeah, stop, we'll just we'll we'll take we'll can't... have to stop and let the ship get repaired and stuff mm. like that. 
most up. of the area between the nations it's kind of the salt never had that middle ages deforestation era so most of it is like big forests wild land frontier land and stuff where there's maybe a few settlements and stuff but it's not really connected to any of the big nations and there's plenty of wild open space where big horrible monsters might be lurking as well but we shall only there may be a few free havens for uh pirates in the know well we are both pirates and in the know isn't the main the right neutral Muriel? ground though for pirates to re restock and repair is Artopia, but that's a little bit far out as that's all the way. Let us find over a safe here. haven. Do we need to roll to know where such safe havens would be? And uh, do I need to do anything to put all the fires out? Yes, that as well. I think you've pretty much put the fires out by now. Well, I do have the advantage of being able to stand of... in them while putting them out. Smoke in Well, I also have resistance. Do you have immunity to fire damage? Not quite immunity, but... And neither do I. I have resistance. Yes. We laugh at it. Oh, look, we're on fire. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's only hurt slightly. That, it's like that a light kind of sunburn. pained laugh where you're like, it doesn't hurt that much, but it really kind of also still hurts. Mm, yes. <laughs> Wait, Remember, no, my clothes aren't fireproof. inhalation is dangerous, so do not stand next to fires. Um, you may have a vague memory of one mountaintop outpost that could be near here that harbors pirates and privateers of all kinds sometimes, but it is mostly, as far as you recall, associated with the Sky Hearts. And as far as background goes, um, you have the more individual pirates, such as yourself, who just do their piratey thing, don't really get caught up in any anything. Freelance wealth redistribution yeah. agents. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you yes. have privateers that do kind of the same thing, but they're being paid to do so by one of the Sell countries. Uh, and then you have Ooh, two, label pirates. Two large piratey organizations that are just loose uh, Colomity, federations, conglomerations, yeah, conglomerations yeah. of pirates that come together with fake code. Uh, the Sky Hearts and the Thunder Witches. And both of them kind of roughly the same, but they don't get along. And if yeah. you tell them they're roughly the same, they definitely won't get along. Yeah, they, they, they unify against you specifically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what happens. For as long as that yeah. takes, and then yeah. they'll find themselves less unified yeah. once more. Yeah, exactly. So this nearby-ish safe haven where you could potentially repair your ship um, is one that's more associated with a Skyheart stopping area. That is Not to fine. say you're on bad terms with them, but... You no. Know. We shall behave ourselves, won't we, Muriel? No. Oh, <laughs> well... Oh, then. oh, you mean, like, by not not insulting and offending them? Yes, that, yes. yes behave. We've had these oh. problems in the past. They should be rectified. One must only taunt when the field of battle is taken. Then you may call them any kind of ninny you wish. <laughs> You're kind of intense after a fight, aren't you? Yes. Do you I need remain... a snack or something? Uh, possibly, yes. I, I My blood sugar level is quite low. Uh, because most of my blood is out of my body. <laughs> I've gone posh for some reason. <laughs> Once Thorn uh, comes down from that, that battle rage. Oh, sorry uh, about go, that. Go very, oh. very posh. Oh, well, uh, no, good heavens. <laughs> I, I'm very sorry about that. It was all yeah, rather... Yes. No, of course, of course, yes. No, I'll just talk like Nye. Nye is the best voice, obviously. <laughs> but well, we better make for them, then, because we're not going to make it anywhere else, uh, even though we're not entirely on fire anymore. No, we're not, but okay, we should probably... Okay. 
take take stock as well yeah, because but, we've yeah, just lost a friend. Not to put too fine a point on it, we've we've got very little ready cash, so we better hope it's either cheap or we can trade trade. Yes. We could trade this piece of shit, gesturing to the giant crashed ship and in our ship, just somebody will want that. He's not going to need it, is he? Hey, kicking the unconscious guy's foot. Yeah, he's not going to say anything. Um, I'll let you take a long rest as well then. That's cool. No, snap. Awesome. I'm loving this already. <laughs> All my <laughs> owies are gone. Yep, by two. Actually, mine would have been gone before we had a rest, to be fair. Go off. <laughs> uh, yeah, you arrive at the mountain uh, top. It's kind of like, it's... It looks for the most part like a very fancy tavern built right smack bang on the top of a mountain. Um, with uh, a big old dock built out around the side of the mountain that ships can tether themselves to and you've kind of tethered yourself out a bit further out slid down the the tethering rope pirate style uh, down onto the docks um, yeah right so Yes. Where are we putting the prisoner? Have we got a brig? If we've got a brig, we could put a prisoner in the pig. Brig. At the moment, you just kind of. Well, we could just what put what does the worthy, worthy cause look like on the inside? There you go. It's another good question. Kind of sooty at the minute. <laughs> there's there's a few air holes as well. Yeah. Well, I think it probably depends on which bit you go into. Yeah. And How do they have like... a loft? Yeah, I imagine it's a fairly simplistic ship. I don't think we've got you know, fancy amenities. But I imagine we've got enough rooms that we could lock him into. There's got to be one that locks that isn't one of our bedrooms or something. Yeah, yeah you can tie it, tie him up in a... Uh, or chain him up or whatever. Given that there's like got four of us on the ship, we've probably yeah. got spare bedrooms. <laughs> yeah. The, you can uh, tie him up in a spare closet or something yeah. as well. Put him and, in the uh, safe, because there's yeah. no money in it. <laughs> That is true. We carry all of our possessions on our bodies. Okay, so he is tied up. Yep. Right, so we need one, fix ship. Two, drink heavily. Three, information on where information our friend on has been taken. Kidnappy pirate guys. Yes. Four, mm -hmm. rescue Mankini. Mm hmm. I concur with these statements. Yeah, sure. Um, if you Ish. enter the tavern, uh, which I assume you're going to do. Yes. Crash really the door ask, open with are, one push. Are you entering the tavern? <laughs> yes. We have entered. Uh, when you go inside... Do they play like um, one little tavern music loop over and over and over again? Oh no, they're doing delay, 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 delay. I mean, I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna play the same song over again, but you know. Play that one song! <laughs> oh, the wrong genre! No! Yeah. <laughs> there you, go. Um, you find that there's a few scattered pirates around drinking themselves into a stupor. There were also there were a couple of ships docked outside, so. You know, there's clearly some people there. Um, but there are two people of note. Uh, one of which is uh, your sometimes friend, Cyril Baal, who you know from Artopia because he's the bloke who runs it, basically. Uh, and then another one is uh, famed daredevil come vigilante, come sky, they have pretty much everything uh, known as Grace. And she's sitting at a table on her own drinking. 
Muriel, I think we should go for the for the good pirates, silent pirate routine. <laughs> you be the good pirate, I be the scary in Oh thank in God for that. Silent yes, all right, yes. I agree then. Yes. Who knew? I was worried was about where that was going for a minute. No, it's but okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, let's do it that way. We shall allow people's incorrect perceptions of us to pres to, pre to to lay a trap of many the poor fools. Deception. Yes, we all know that you are the bad pirate in this uh, duo. Terrible, horrible person. Yes. <laughs> so who no, are you? No, you are a good person. Who are you approaching? Just, mm. Let's go and talk to our Topia guy. Hello, uh, Dirty Twenty Live. And thank you for the raid. Um. We have been yeah. raided. <laughs> Good. Cyril Ball. Uh, kind of. He's, he's busy talking to some of the people who staff the tavern here and uh, seems to be either getting supplies or discussing how to come by certain supplies to be taken out to Artopia. Um, and just looks around at you and has such. I think I've, I think I've seen you two befores a little bit distinct you probably might have recognized this if you saw us again hi uh, i'm muriel uh, this is thorn how are you doing mm. nice to see you uh i'm i'm well worthy cause worthy uh, our ship is the worthy oh, cause oh right I, I thought you were looking for donations but yeah uh, always <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, a bit short of, uh, well, you know, Autopia takes a lot to keep it running. Uh, really. Everything takes like a lot to keep it running. Donations should be going really the other direction. but expensive. It's really expensive to do things. Especially uh, when people keep, like, attacking your ships. It's really yeah. annoying. You should uh, try keeping up with all these combustion engine parts and stuff nowadays. I mean, what's that all about? But Ooh. anyway... How can I help you to Raptor ship kidnap bad people pirates? Raptor ship kidnap bad people pirates. I am, I am not doing this thing right, am I? You have to start with the story and then do the summary. We okay. were this recently one, this attacked. This one sounds like it's going to be a lengthy tale. So you know what? How about you get the drinks in? I'll finish up here, and then you tell me about it. All right, sounds like a plan. Mm. <laughs> and, All right, uh, Thorn, get around him, mate. Yeah. Yes. I would like uh, sit down at the table. Are yes, you sitting down at the table? Seat. Grace is yeah. at, or is this seat taken? <laughs> Grace kind of looks up at you. Uh, takes a sip and then looks back down and like yeah doesn't doesn't really say anything I will take that as a no Cyril uh, in the end uh, after he's finished discussing whatever it was um, comes sits next to Grace looks at her and goes oh how's uh How's the daredevil retreating you? She kind of nods and goes back to her drink. All right. Okay, then. Come on. Out with this story. And he takes a fairly hefty swig of his mug first. Yeah. Th By fairly Thorn hefty, I mean he drinks the whole lot in one go. Uh, Th Thorne comes and back and looks like kind of sad when it's empty and looks at you like this is going to be painful. <laughs> Not even Thorne a little bit. Back with one giant like really big pint glass and like a very small one and hands the giant one to to Muriel and then takes the little one for little. himself yes one big I pint and several little pints <laughs> he says dead <laughs> pint to them <laughs> take a little sip um... I might swap with Cyril then so he can have the big one all right strap in for this because it's gonna be great so and I shall begin recounting a tale of epic daring do that somehow ended with us being chased by these raptor pirates who have run off with one of our chums. And since we don't know what led to this sorry state of affairs, 
I am going to use the performance skill to make it sound cool and interesting. <laughs> yes. And we'll weave a tale of airborne heroism and uh, battles against the odds and we I were mean, attempting I feel to like that was pretty much what cattle. you did anyway so yeah <laughs> yes i hit yeah. them with my axe after after the first few sips he starts looking up and looking more interested as you tell this spectacular tale of swashbucklery <laughs> and people zipping from out of masts and all kinds of stuff going on uh, how you single-handedly <laughs> tore apart one of these raptors using magic and then teleported yourself back to the ship and somehow managed to capture another one like, anyway do you want to buy a raptor actually that could come in handy is it still working though mostly hmm uh, I suppose mostly or cut it. I mean, it flies. What's, uh, what's your price? Pig to land. I have no idea what one of those would be worth. Probably a shit ton of cash. Yeah, probably. I mean, this is... I don't think either of you have probably seen one of these before. This is like very specific high-end technology that someone has brought to bear against you all. What do I reckon one of these would be worth? I'm quite clever and yeah. insightful, it would seem. Um, you reckon if you hadn't have dented it all over, uh, if the cockpit hadn't been torn free and the glass smashed to a million pieces uh that wasn't us that was and them. you had yeah, their crashed it, should have crashed dealt with it that. into the ship uh and oh, pretty securely. much pretty much mangled the claws at the bottom that don't seem to open and close anymore nor go up and down 20 minutes uh, with a screwdriver yeah. it'll be fine that'll buff out the the wings are a bit skew whiff as well. You reckon otherwise it'd probably been worth about 5,000 gold? It's a lot of gold. Alright, so... In this case, it's going to be a lot less once he sees it. I reckon fresh one of these bad boys probably go for five grand. But I like you. And it's a little bit banged up. So... I split the difference. I call it two. That is well. I've, see, I've still got to get these these supplies for Autopia, and oh, they're they're pricey as well. I mean, I could use the ship, but I don't need the ship per se. Understood. Understood. Uh, what well. about five hundred and docking rights? Docking rights are good. 500 and docking rights is nice uh, it would be even nicer if you could tell us anything about where these ships come from and where they go to I suppose you know that at all do you because there's some folks in dire need of a shoeing three of them you say right yeah we've still got one of them impressive I may have may have heard something now obviously good honest uh, people such as ourselves can't go around spreading gossip about uh, the doings of others uh, wouldn't dream of it that'd be rude but there is there's there's a, a group of specialised hawks um Three of them. And what they specialize in is procuring items that are usually very much alive and transporting them to a place where what happens after that is not really their problem anymore. Um, so I may have some idea 
of who they are. If it is the very, very people I'm talking about. It is very much the people you're talking about. I didn't see all three of them. Definitely seen two of them. Uh, one of them had fancy robes that he could sort of fly glide, flied with. Uh, which was annoying. Sounds cause... About, about right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it meant that'd he be, got away. That'd be Claw, right? I don't know, we didn't stop to find out names, but probably. Little tiny gun up his sleeve, shot me with it. Um, probably a, a bit peed off. The anyway ice. nearby. Well, he did have until I blew up his ship and teleported him off of it. Oh, he's not going to like that. No. Yeah, it does, does sound like Claw. Now, what you've got here is Hunter, Claw and Mao. And they're three very, very dangerous people who usually do the bidding of even more dangerous people for the right price. Mm. So, so, if they're very dangerous and like... wanted, yeah, there'd be Bitcoin in capturing them. I mean, we don't, we don't do that sort of thing around. Well, here. I don't, we don't. But if there were like a, a brave. There's probably heroin a... vigilante bounty hunter sort of person nearby who might be interested <laughs> in picking up a bounty on them. Grace then... kind, kind of looks up at you, then and uh, as, uh, nods slightly and then goes back to her drink. And uh, dovetails synchronicity, Cyril you know, as well. I suppose if if there were I mean I wouldn't know about that sort of thing but no, uh, no. there probably is we can always have a look around amongst our eclectic band of friends doesn't have some kind of price on their head at some point somewhere but yeah um, whoever your friend is that got napped I mean, someone with deep pockets wanted wanted them taken away. Because well, that's the only way you get hold of, back. of these three. Well, that would be nice if you knew where they yes. were. Yes. Yeah, were yeah knowing where they were would mean that we could maybe go and um, discuss, negotiate, treat with them in such a way as to secure the release of our comrade they shall negotiate with my axe that was well, subtext that, I mean, subtext thought that yeah, was subtext that, that sounds like the kind subtext. of issue that doesn't occur in this but when you this kidnap kind thorn's of friends subtext goes out the window <laughs> only well, we'll put at least remain. one of them out the window as well yeah. so yes that would also Maybe. be advantageous We'll, we'll shelve that part of the conversation for now for less, you know, a neutral environment, shall we say? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a plan. That is fair. So, Apologies hypothetically speaking, were we to be on the lookout for Gunter and Claw, where would we be looking out of? I mean, that that's the tricky part, isn't it? Because... Where would I mean, they do, go? Do you think they're mate and tell us if we kicked him in the nuts enough? Ooh, that'd be... They're a tough lot. Are you mm. sure he's... Uh, he's tied up properly, right? Because it wouldn't be the first time. I used my boy scout's knots. <laughs> You're safer already. Yes. Oh, okay, then. You know, uh, yeah... Maybe want to check on that when you get back to your ship, but um, yeah, no, it's uh, it's hard to tell where or who might might want want someone like your friend, and therefore might be able to arrange the kind of money necessary to encourage uh, such a disappearance. All right, so what we need, what we're looking at then, you get the Raptor, we get docking rights, 
and 500 in cash, which might just about cover a few minor repairs that we need to do. Mm -hmm. And then we yeah. maybe ask this Mo chap if he knows where their house is, and I would hope he would. I mean, he might, but they're unlikely to be going to their house now, aren't they? They're going to be wanting to go I suppose they're going to be going to their delivery venue. Neutral to drop off their new uh, new little present. Uh, well, uh, they're just doing business with the chief. Yeah, 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 sure. I'll, I'll have to... Let me, let me see and eat about this 500 gold coin oh, if only there was something else we could trade for that but you know well, I suppose I'll have to have to fork it out anyway uh, well, there's always something else you can trade well what do you have in mind if I were to know of a few select locations that serve maybe as neutral gap ground in these kind of situations That'd be very helpful, uh, but we would still need to repair our ship, though. So we, we've got a bit of a trade-off situation there, haven't we? No good knowing where they're going to be if we can't get there. No good being able to get there if we don't know where they're going to be. Perhaps, help hear me out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Perhaps if we were guaranteed repairs to our ship, then we wouldn't need that extra gold. And then that would be an option. What do you think? Grace at, at the side is kind of shaking. <laughs> and, uh, Cyril looks at you for a moment. Mm, I mean, those kind of repairs are expensive, aren't they? Uh, Can be. Do you think, could your ship make it? all the way to Artopia, or are we talking about repairs here? Well, see, the thing is, if only we knew someone that was going to Artopia, who could take it there for repairs, who had a ship here, that maybe they'd be willing to do a short exchange with. Now, now it's getting, it's getting complicated, isn't it? Very difficult. It's difficult business. So I take your ship, the Raptor. I get your ship repaired. I keep the Raptor. Yep. And in exchange, you take my ship for a little bit. Don't get it damaged because you're, you're paying for that out of pocket. And I maybe give you a little bit of a lead on the kind of places that... Uh, these three usually do their deals in. It's complex, isn't it? It sounds very complex, but I like the way all of the little details neatly sort of nest into one another, like like little shapes. He finishes the last bit of this massive mug that Fawn, uh, Fawn has got from him. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I mean, oh, you, you... Yeah, you do. You, you like you look us. Like you like us. And you know trouble. that we're going to be I useful. Knew the moment I saw the worthy cause out there looking all banged up, I knew it was going to be trouble. Okay. We we'll both have very visually appealing faces based <laughs> on the current beauty standards. Yeah. That tooth thing that you got going on is mm -hmm. top yes. notch. Right. You too. Okay. I may have heard some things that may allow me to pinpoint a location a little bit easier, shall I say, than, uh, than usual. There's been some chatter about a price uh, for a long lost relative. Oh, that old chestnut, is it? Some group of 
Prince's nobility, royalty, whatever, out in Ilba. Why they want them, don't know. Who they think they are, don't know. But that's the only kind of caliber of kidnapping going on at the moment that would probably lure out our three friends that you encountered. So how your mate got caught up in all that, beyond me. He's very but, pretty. It could be a lot of those mistaken identity things. There is a fairly good chance that uh, the drop off will be somewhere uh, close to the borders of Ul. And um, yeah, there's a little hunting lodge that's been disused for a very long time out in uh, the hill land. Roughly where I'm pinging now. <laughs> and um, they've used it before, shall we say. And the people that are coming down to pick up this this person that they want we're definitely going to be coming down in that direction and as far as I know they're stationed in Ool at the moment so there's a chance that's some fairly strong and convincing evidence where exactly in the hillside this old lodge is that's you know that you'll have to look up yourself I can't help you there but uh, yeah probably there somewhere I mean I uh, think that's a fair deal isn't it sounds pretty fair oh you're you're a person of some importance so uh, I suppose you get a special discount hello uh, synthetic 20 TTV thank you for raiding um, Ooh, yeah. more raids thank you Sen I think we can uh, we can shake on that, and uh, I'll f see to your ship being repaired. You don't get a scratch on the bounty, and bring it back in, in perfect nick. Would dream of it. Uh, what will we get our not. stuff then? Uh, it will be like a newborn babe in our arms. We shall cradle it with the utmost of care. See, it's when it's when you start saying things like that that I, I start getting worried. What? I was a skilled midwife when I before becoming a barbarian. It's just Yeah, okay. but what if he said that story about you and the baby juggling? That, that was not off. my fault. I thought jugglers were appropriate to have in a child care refilicility. I did not know they would juggle the babies. That was their fault. Bear. Fair. Well, yes. why don't you go and get, get our guest? Of course. Because, you know, you could probably pick him up, can't you? Mm. <laughs> yes, I shall attempt to if he is consenting to such an act. No, no, oh. we don't care if he's consenting or not. He, oh, he's I a villain who kidnapped our mate. That is also true. Mm. I shall consult my conscience on this matter. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, while you're consulting your conscience, I'm going to sit here in this quiet, nearly empty bar and see if I can rack my brains for someone that might know if there was anywhere or anyone who might be interested in taking him off our hands. Cyril uh, gets up and goes with Thorn at this point and you know, kind of gets his ship ready, moves some stuff, has the stuff that he needed to take with him put by the docks near your ship instead um, when he does Grace looks up and goes uh, the price is for all three of them fair do you want to split you, it you bring them to me we'll split it or you could come along <sighs> I 
That sounds like significantly more work. And I've already got work. True. But there's three of them. As far and as I can tell, there's two of them. Well, there's two of them plus one. Two of you. Yeah, exactly. Which is fair. fair, doesn't it? But but then if we're going to do all the work, why do you get half the money? Do you know? See, if we did it that way, I'd say you could have a third as a finder's fee and distribution, blah, blah, blah. If you, you want know, half. Uh, do you know where to drop them off? Who has no. a price out for them? Oh, I Who do has not. the best price out for them? Which is why we're negotiating, discussing, treating like potential friends, colleagues, business partners. I mean, it's just, it's... Odds are too close. Well, exactly, which is why if you come along, the odds won't be close anymore. Yeah, that's the problem. Because there'll be two of them Okay, if we were jumping out of a ship into the jaws of danger, sure. But I'm not going to Oh, I see you like the odds being stacked. A couple of orcs. Okay, they're tough nuts. All right, but you know, uh, you know, I teleported like off of a moving airship onto a smaller moving airship, and then teleported back by exploding it, though, right? See? That's got to count for something. Yeah, but now the odds are swinging even further in your favour. It's really not. Look, now, what if I wear a blindfold? Third, for me. You keep the other two thirds, whatever. But uh, the next time, the next time something comes up where you know everything's going to be against you, you call me. Yeah, right. Sounds like a deal. Limited chance of success. Almost guaranteed failure. High risk. Low reward. Extreme danger. Yeah. Now that sounds more like it. Sounds like fun, actually. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> All right. I'm shake on that as well. Yeah, sure. So I'll so bring you've you the three to two thirds of uh, this price if you bring a f- all three orcs. You don't so know what the price is yet. We get two thirds. She but... gets one third. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, at the minute we're, we're cashing promises we don't even have. So. <laughs> Plus, there's the also the opportunity way. to maybe later double cross her if it turns out that she is trying to rip us off. Which Seems is fair. also the pirate way. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. With that done, what do you want to get up to now? I shall collect Mao. Still pretty much unconscious. Oh, uh, I shall check Mouse Pulse because, oh boy, that's a long time to be unconscious. Like, that's brain damage levels of unconscious. Is he okay? Roll me a perception check. I can't believe you fell for that. (laughs) So gullible. I hit him on the head with a big metal stick. I feel like I knocked him. Oh, I crit failed. In that case... Yeah, you get smacked straight in the jaw as this massive orc suddenly lurches back to full life and uh, slams you backwards into the door, out into the hallway, and starts lurching down the hallway whilst you're kind of dazed, making for, uh, for the top decks. Uh, I'd like to bum rush him if that's okay. Go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna. Do you want me are you to, going to rush arm? into his bum, or are you going to charge backwards using your bum to charge at him? With? I mean, I whatever gets me the best chance of success. So, do you want me to roll to do this? Athletics. Uh, yeah, athletics, or you could roll an unarmed attack, or whatever you. That's to, a yeah, twenty-two sure. on athletics. That, uh, you once again. Uh, 
slam straight into him uh, as he's trying to stumble away as well. He's still kind of out of it. Uh, lift his feet up from out from under him and just sort of rugby tackle him to the floor. His head bangs against uh, one of the rafters as you lift him up and he goes straight back down again and once again not moving. Mm. I should really oh boy he's not going to have very good no mm. I shall pick him up and take him above deck although I'm now concerned about his his health because that's a lot of concussions to take in a short I mean, frame of do, time do you want to check his pulse again I should <laughs> can I do a medicine check yeah sure I have a zero on medicine a seven is he alive I mean, you, you're not sure if it's he's moving because you're breathing or if he's breathing because he's breathing himself or mm -hmm. you're carrying him at the moment, so it's really hard to tell. And also, you're not really used to attempting to assess the medical condition of, uh, of random orcs that you've been fighting against. Mm. Well, I shall take him above deck and take him to grace. It's probably all right. Muriel, I have the prisoner. Ah, that's a relief. Yes. I was afraid he might have tried to come up with some kind of clever ruse to trick you into escaping. No, ruses do not work on me. <laughs> it's lucky that. It's mm -hmm. very lucky. Yes, he stole Thorn our brother. clearly has like a, a bruised mark across the scales or... <laughs> Yes. Grace. Oh, great. Now I have to take an unconscious orc. What, what, yes. is, what, I would what advise is the challenge in this? It. Fitness. I have to drag him back mm, I, to I my am ship. quite capable of taking him to your ship, if that is what you wish. <sighs> okay, then. Kind of size defeated and... Uh, Oh, I'm no, sure. if you wish to take the challenge, you may drag him yourself. I was only being courteous. <laughs> Apologies for a miscommunication on my part. He's very polite. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good yes. lad, really. I was raised by a good mother. Yeah. I love her dearly. <laughs> i tell you what, you want an extreme challenge. You want to try sitting down for dinner with him on anecdote night. Mm, yes. I have many anecdotes. He does. Mm -hmm. So many. Yes. I had many jobs before I became a barbarian pirate of the high skies. Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> I, I love the idea of Miro just like, they're so yeah. boring. Oh, that's what's most amazing is he can make every job he's done so boring. The higher you are, in fact, the more interesting the stories can be. <laughs> Grace is kind of looking at you and this orc. Like, didn't you have, um, yeah, didn't you have some I'll, place to be? I'll call you. Yeah, yes. yeah. Hang on, how am I going to call you? Are you going to be here? Well, I'm going to have to stay here now, aren't I? We we'll have to stay, stay, and pop in and out. I don't know, take up skydiving or something. Take up skydiving, practically Duh. invented skydiving. <laughs> the trick is to put on the boots just before you smack into the ground. Oh, right, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. That's probably what we've been doing wrong. I, I've got to admit, I prefer the, the old feather fall technique myself. Like I know, ways. I know, it's, it's like baby steps, but... I was a my, my boots are more for comfort than flight. Yeah, it gets nippy up there sometimes. That's the sky. I perform the cannonball when we jump ship. <laughs> he does. <laughs> cannonball. Oh, yeah, we'll look forward to that in uh, in future episodes. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have a rough idea now of uh, where. 
they probably took uh, Zankini and you have a ship that's functioning yeah that's not bad for a day's work we got a focusing yes. ship we got a location for Mankini and you want to jump off of it onto stuff so perfect really it's and quite a good set save our brother and we will mm. really yes. really stylishly of course <laughs> when are we never stylish Without scratching the bounty. The newborn yeah. babe, as I promised. Uh, yeah. Is our so, chum coming with us? Uh, Ravi, yeah. Well, so that he can basically fly Basically, NPC deckhand who looks after the ship whilst you're Ravi is a fellow brother, just, just as Stops it floating is. off. Yeah. As Muriel is our sister. Oh, thank God for that. He does know the difference. Of course I know the difference. Okay, uh, so what's up next? Mm. I suggest that next we begin our journey towards the hunting lodge. Yes. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> um, yeah, how oh, long? We've been on for about two hours now. Just about, so, so that would be a good point. We'll save that for next week. And, uh, yeah, we can introduce Odun's character, Zaniki, perhaps. Oh, it's Zaniki. We have been pronouncing his name wrong this entire time. I do Zankini, apologize, sorry. Zankini. No, it's me. It's, just... Oh, is it Zankini? Okay. <laughs> yeah. no, I've okay. been calling him Mankini because yeah. I want to. I know you've been calling yeah. him Mankini. I have, I've assumed it's an endearing nickname that Muriel <laughs> has for Zankini. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how Zankini gets out of uh, the predicament he's in next week. Whilst we see how you two get ourselves catch up into that predicament, yes. into that Cannon predicament, ball. and uh. what other possible deals you can make that uh, may or may not be within your abilities to actually keep to. <laughs> Why bother doing easy things, right? Yeah. Exactly. If we learned one thing from Grace, it's that. <laughs> there you go. When the coming gets tough, we get tougher. No, when the guy gets or tough, rage. we we get drunk, and then sit down and cry about it. Oh yes, we also have those nights. A group cry of Dean. sessions. Yes. Uh, yeah, that will be so reason up. We 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 get the light on the back. back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. With that, uh, I think we'll say good night. Yes, um, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Most appreciated. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. What else is on Garblack in the uh, week? Nothing. It's Friday. Yeah, other than that. <laughs> but next week, <laughs> next week on Garblack, um, we've got maybe something on Monday. Maybe not. Hopefully, if we can get the people. If we can get a few more people, there will be something on Monday, mm -hmm. which could be exciting and new and different, but also cool. Uh, Tuesday, we should be making a return to Coriolis and dealing with the evil teleporting cult god monster butterfly thing, Vestal. Uh, Wednesday is the Age of Sigma soul bound uh, lightning bolting while jumping at people, going, ah, game. Yeah. Uh, Thursday is the is One Ring. North America up to anything? Oh, Wednesday, no, no, North America do Thursday as well. Oh, yeah, Thursday. So it's the One Ring. Yep. The One Ring. Finally. <laughs> rule them all. <laughs> yeah. And then it's Acton yeah. Cthulhu. Uh, no, it's not. Because it's Thank You Day in North America. Oh, yeah. I know there's a oh, yeah. week when it is definitely not happening. Super oh. precise on details. Yeah. I was about to say thank you, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> He's quick, this lad. Yeah. yeah. And then Friday that's... we're back here for for more Sky Pirate shenanigans. With I heard be of more explosions and more shenanigans. Tenuous grip week. on rule-based understandings <laughs> from tenuous grip on accents ah. and voices and really reality as yeah, a concept. Yeah. It's Pirate Friday. We don't believe in any of those things here, and if Take we do, you want. we'll just do. Make no sense. We want anyway. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyway, thank you everyone for joining us then. Uh, I hope to see you again next week. And thank you to my wonderful players. Hope you mm -hmm. had fun. Um, and yeah, we'll be back swashbuckling through the air. Uh, Ooh, next well, week I don't use a Cornish accent or a French accent. Ooh, we'll find out next week in Ahead of the Storm. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.